how to download and install Joomla 3.7.5 on Windows 10 computer. Hi, my name is Amul and you are watching Tap2. If you haven't subscribed yet for my channel, please do right now. So in this video, I'm going to download and install Joomla 3.7 using XM server on Windows 10 computer. So I assume that you already have installed XM server. If you haven't, go to apachefrench.org, download this and install it. If requires, just restart your computer. This process is going to work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. Okay, so you simply download it, install it and if required, restart your operating system. That's it. Once it is installed, you go ahead and launch the up, uh, sorry XM control panel so this is control panel and when you launch it you will have to re uh, start these Apache and MySQL servers so just click start and they will start running in the background now you can simply close it because it keeps running here in the background now you want this Joomla package downloaded so go to joomla.org and when you land on this you will get this option here the button says download and extend you can click here or you can directly click on the download okay you land on the same page so i'm going to click on download and you just this is the download joomla 3.7.5 okay this is a zip folder package you simply click on it and then save it wherever you want to once it's saved push done you see here it's very fast now you want to go to the folder open the folder so no matter what uh, browser you are using uh, save it and basically extract the folder so right click and extract okay so i already have extracted this you can see it here this is how it looks like now once it's downloaded and extracted using you you can use any zip extractor i do not need this however i need the browser so what i'm going to do i'll quickly go ahead and create a folder in HD Docs. so go to this pc and then go to c drive then go to xm and then you look for HD Docs. okay and then in HD Docs, you want to create a folder you can name whatever you want. I'm going to name it Joom and open this folder. You are in XM, HD Docs, and Joom. Okay, folder. That's the folder. Then you simply copy everything. Okay, copy everything or cut it and then paste it over here. Okay, that's the process. It's going to take approximately 30 to 35 or 40 seconds. In the meanwhile, we will go ahead and check our phpMyAdmin. So basically, when you're going to install any CMS on local computer, you need the, uh, a database, okay? So we are going to create a database. To create a database on XM or WAM server, you simply go to localhost slash PHP my admin okay and then hit enter so this is your PHP my admin interface it's a very easy and simple to create a database you can click here databases or you can click here new and then name the database so I'm going to say Joom DP okay that's the database name do not touch everything just click create so when you create a database it's completely you know empty you need a username as well when it's going to connect with joomla so when you create any database you already have a default user that is root and maybe you do not have any password okay you can go here under privileges if you want to create a user you can create otherwise this will work root the host name is going to be localhost you have all the privileges granted but you do not have any password so we are going to use this joomla joom db username root host name local host and there is no password so i guess it's almost done here let's go ahead and check 
Okay, it's almost done. It's going to take just a few more seconds. And okay, it it took really long. It's 95, 98, 9900. So that's done. How you can install it now and connect with the server? You simply go local host slash name of the folder. So you might have given a different folder name. This is what you have to do. Okay, localhost, then the name of the folder. Then this is the Joomla installation wizard. Here you can a name uh, Joom dev we develop. Joomla teams and plugins. That's it. Then uh, you want to create a super user profile here. So email could be admin at admin.com. User, I'm going to keep it very simple so that I can remember it. Admin password confirmation, very simple admin, 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 and then click next. This is the database information page. You have to enter all the database. You do not have to choose anything else. MySQL I is perfectly fine. Then you want to type the username for the database. That is going to be root. If you have created a password and a new user, type your username and password. Okay, I do not have any password, so I'll leave it blank. Zoom slash D, sorry, underscore DB. So that's the name of the database. Now you click next, scroll down, click here, next. This is going to take just a few moments here. Here you have to choose whether you need, you know, a basic need to uh, know data, basically sample data. But let me go ahead and go with the sample data. Okay. Or you can go with this learn Joomla English sample data. But Let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, let's go with the sample data. You can have a look, all the information here, and then click install. Okay, while it's installing, it's trying to connect with the server. It has already connected. Now it's trying to create all the tables and everything. Okay, so just refresh it, go back to PHP my admin, make sure you are here, Zoom DB, and you will see a lot of tables here in just a moment okay so okay it's just trying to create and here we are zoom view you can look at this banner client and a lot of other things it's trying to load okay you look at this so it's it's in the process wonderful Congratulations, Joomla is now installed. Okay, so before you go ahead and do anything, read this one. So you have to remove the installation folder. Click on remove and it says removed successfully. It's been completely removed. Okay, then you have two options. You can go ahead and visit this site. And you can click on administrator to log in in Joomla. You simply go to localhost slash the name of the folder and then slash administrator. Look at this. Okay. And then you put the admin name, the username for Joomla, and then password. So this is how your website looks like. Okay. This is how it looks like. It, it's, it, I think it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's far more cleaner and I think faster than WordPress, I guess. Okay, so this is your control panel and this is the site. This is how it looks like with default theme. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for my channel. Have a good day. Bye for now. Take care.